Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I'm your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now do not let the unseasonal sun put you off. It is actually the autumn here in the Northern Hemisphere. I'm in Southern England and the temperatures are going down. The wind is getting up, the leaves are falling off the trees, the season has very definitely changed. It's time to put away any of those last summer clothes that you haven't stored away and it is time to get ready for these cooler, wetter and damper times of the year. Now I have a little list of things that I want to get ready and make sure I am utterly prepared for the seasonal change which lies ahead. Come with me on my journey to check that I'm ready. Okay, so number one and absolutely number one, the thing which is the difference between comfort and unpleasantness in the months ahead, your outer garment. It's the thing which will keep you dry and keep you warm. Now for me, I'm in a rural environment and I'm wearing a wax barber jacket most of the year. So at this time of year, I check my jacket over. I make sure it's in good order. I think to myself, when was the last time I had the wax treatment reapplied? Because it should be done every year for optimum effect. You can either send it back to the factory or do it yourself at home. But you know, make sure you're up to date. Otherwise, it won't be waterproof. So you have to think like that. Check the zips over. If you need to, put some lubricant on there so they slide nicely up and down. If you're in an urban environment and you're wearing an overcoat or a raincoat, Check the buttons. Make sure they're not loose. They're not going to fall off the first time you put it on. Make sure if you've got a woolen or a cashmere overcoat, none of those pesky moths have made a meal of your garment over the winter months. Check it over. Make sure everything is ready. Hang it up nice on a coat hanger so that there's no creases on it. So when you need it, it's going to be ready to wear straight away. Now the next thing on my autumn preparation list is to break out the boots. Oh, this is a, an, an enjoyable time for me because I love wearing boots. And even though it's a sad moment in the passing of the year to put away those lovely light tanned and leather soled shoes, it means that you can get the boots out with your commando soles and your sturdy leather construction up above the knee, which will keep you insulated and keep you warm and dry. Check them over. If they haven't been done so for a while, give them some renovation polish. It'll make sure that the leather is in the best possible condition. Now, the one I use is Sophia Renovator. It nourishes the leather, it keeps it hydrated, and that means it's gonna be better and ready for the months ahead. Put a layer of polish on there to keep the leather protected. Polish doesn't just make shoes look shiny, they protect it from the elements as well, particularly the wet, and the salt, which will be, and all the other anti-icing treatments which are laid on pavements and roads as well. So look after your boots. They will look after you over these next six months. Now the next thing I do, funnily enough, is to change my bag. Because in the summer months, I'm prone to carry a nice stylish gentleman's briefcase. Leather, beautiful, cuts a dash. But it's a little bit impractical for those winter months because my life changes. At this time of year, I start to carry around hat, scarf, gloves, a, a folding umbrella, lots of things, spare layers of clothing, you know, an extra sweater, things like that. And they simply don't fit in my stylish briefcase. So at this time of year, I swap over to one of my leather, or in this case, a canvas valise, which is all encompassing. I can get all my stuff in there. That means wherever I'm going, it's nice and easy, comfortable to carry, and it's voluminous when it comes to putting things into it. Lots of the room that I need at this time of year. Now, the other thing I do at this time of year is transition my wardrobe towards a different color palette. In the summertime, I select cheerful, vibrant colors, which are reflected in nature. You know, if you were to walk around my garden in the summertime, you'll see lots of strong colors with the flowers and the planting, which really brings joy and color to one's life. The winter time, it changes. Everything transitions towards earth tones. I'm doing it now. I'm wearing a tweed waistcoat, which is brown in nature. It reflects nature around me. The leaves are falling off the trees. 
those bright colours, all the flowers, have retracted into the ground, into the tubers, ready for when they will come out again next spring. So I swap my colour palette from those beautiful, vivacious colours of summer to the earthen tones, which are more suited to the environment in which we live. And it's perfect because, you know, it's time to get the tweeds and all those other woolens and cashmere items out, which look better in those colours, I think. And they're nice and warm and snuggly, and they're going to work for us over these next few months. Now the next thing we need to do, and we've already talked about getting out the boots, but it is related, and that is we need to get ready to take better care of our footwear. Because our shoes and our boots, well, they're all that stand between us and having wet, miserable feet all day long. And, you know, in the summer you can get away with polishing your boots or shoes only when they need it, you know, when the, the luster has gone off the shine. But this time of year, it's warfare on your feet because your boots, they're going to be trudging through the snow. They're going to be walking through the wet, the ice cold conditions, the temperatures are going to plunge. They're not going to get sufficient time to dry out between wears unless you're careful. So you need to look after your boots. Make sure you're putting them in uh, shoe trees every day so that the shoe, the boot is kept in its original form and that shoe tree wooden shoe tree made of cedar is the best route to go it allows the absorption of the moisture from the boot allows it to dry in its natural shape the other thing you need to do if at all possible is not to wear the same pair of boots or shoes day after day after day allow a day between wears to allow the boot to recover and the moisture to be absorbed and dried out naturally. Never place your boot near a strong heat source, just leave it in the ambient temperature of a room where it can dry naturally. Make sure it's looked after, moisturized or uh, nourished, I should say, not moisturized. You know, apply that renovation cream to keep the leather in the best condition it can be in. It's gonna be under some challenging conditions. The more you can do to keep your leather boot in good condition, the better chance you will have of having warm, dry feet in the months ahead. Now, one of the joys that I find every year in the autumn is unpacking my scarf collection. I'm one of those guys who absolutely loves a nice scarf for a whole host of reasons. There's nothing like snuggling down into a beautiful cashmere or woolen scarf. You know, pulling it up around your collar in these challenging, windy, blustery, wet days, it's one of the few comforting moments of any day. You feel encapsulated in those lovely soft woolens and cashmeres and you can take on the world. The other thing they do is present a great opportunity to add a little dash of colour, texture or pattern to this time of year. Because let's be honest, the colour leaches away in the autumn from the natural environment and also from your clothes. When we transition to our outerwear, they tend to be quite neutral colours because they have to be worn with every other item in our wardrobe. So they're grey and they're, you know, black so that they can be worn with most items. So adding a little splash of colour in your scarf can make all the difference. I love the earthen colours, you know, the nice natural colours which comes with, you know, some tartan or tweed. Anything that just makes you feel good and look good must be good. Now one element of your autumn style that you can't afford to overlook at any cost is your skin. All right, this thing here. It is the largest organ in the human body and it's the thing that will make the difference in the way that you look healthy and vibrant or a bit dull and drab. So look after it, particularly in the autumn, right? People overlook their skin at this time of year, but this time of year is equally as challenging to the summer. You know, when you think about the sun and people put SPV protecting creams on, they don't do it in the winter time. But look at me now, I am bathed in sunlight and of course, what is sunlight? It is ultraviolet radiation. It is absolutely deadly as it can leach the colour out of your garden furniture. It can leach the health from your skin. So it's important to continue to apply SPV protective creams at this time of year. And don't forget this blustery wind, all right? This dries the skin easily. It can chap your lips, the skin itself. So apply a good quality moisturiser. I do twice a day. 
after I've shaved in the morning and after I've had a shower at night before I go to bed, my skin gets a good dousing in moisturiser. Right? You don't get to look this good in your 50s without putting some effort in. So I would recommend that you follow my example, look after the skin and beware of ultraviolet radiation. Okay chaps, the autumn time is your time to shine. It is time to rock a hat because never in your seasons is there a better time to protect your head from the elements because your hat insulates you from the cold and keeps your body heat from dissipating out into the environment where it's no good for you. Keep it inside, keeping you warm. And I have to say, as a man who is somewhat bereft on the hair front, I like nothing better than a hat to stop the rain hitting my head and running down the back of the neck. There is nothing I hate more than that feeling of the rain slipping down underneath my collar. Now, whether it's a stylish Homburg, a Trilby, a Bowler, a beanie or even a simple flat cap like this, get out the hat, it'll keep you warm and if you're lucky you will look this stylish as well. Chaps, the autumn also gives us the opportunity to snuggle down into that classical woolen knitwear which is perfect for the cooler months. Now I love nothing more than my highly practical shawl collared cardigan. And I love it because it's made of 100% British wool. It's beautiful and warm, but also, it's also very stylish. It allows me to cut a dash when I'm out in a pair of chinos, in the house in a pair of jeans, or even going into the workplace with some woolen uh, flannel slacks, because it really can take the place of a blazer in certain situations. And believe me, I like nothing more than the cocooning, womb-like warmth of my roll neck sweater. Because again, 100% wool, it's beautiful to look at and incredibly warm to wear. There is nothing better than classical knitwear. Do not think that modern insulating materials have surpassed wool. They have not. It is well worth having in your winter collection. Okay, chaps, for my last item, can you guess what it is? I'm going to talk about protecting the extremities now because there is nothing more miserable in the winter months than having cold toes and cold fingers. If you've got cold hands and feet, life seems a very sad place to be. So for me, it's time to break out the gloves and the woolly socks because you know that is the difference between comfort and horror at this time of year. Get the nice leather gloves out. Not only do they keep your hands warm, but they add a dash of color to the extremities of your clothing. You know, it just looks a bit more stylish and a bit more classy if you're wearing something like a nice leather glove in an oxblood color just like this. And when it comes to your feet, invest in quality socks. Go down the wool or cashmere or merino wool route. Don't be seduced by the alluring price of artificial materials when it comes to things that you wear next to your skin. There is nothing better than the natural fabrics of wool, cashmere and merino when it comes to the feet. It wicks away the moisture, keeps the feet lovely and warm. So there we go folks, those are the items that I'm pulling out of the wardrobe and checking over to make sure they're all ready and viable for the coming cold, blustery, wet winter that lies ahead. Who knows, it could be the worst winter ever, but I'm gonna be prepared. When those temperatures tumble, I'm gonna say, bring it on, I've done my homework, I am ready for you. So there we go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you're getting ready for your winter. Unless you're in the Southern Hemisphere, well, look back in the last few months of my videos and you'll see the summer ones. You'll be ready for your summer. Until the next time, take care of yourselves and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.